Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. Dr. Sigmund Freud. I'm in the original European inner world master's psychoanalysis home office, sitting in a reclining chair where Dr. Sigmund Freud analyzed patients from between 1891 and 1938. A psychoanalyst's couch, like the one Freud's patients lay on in search of relief from inner world turmoil, is stretched out in front of me. I'm writing step four to you from Vienna, Austria. Imagine how the Victorian era Viennese public must have reacted when Dr. Freud first introduced the idea to the world that our behaviors are driven by all sorts of things that occurred in our past and which are often not at all conscious to us in the present. Over 100 years ago, that culture rattling insight changed the course of history, foremost because it changed the way we understand how our self develops. Dr. Freud recognized that we're each exposed to formative experiences and insights, and that although we may have forgotten those important events, they are continuing to inform the moment-to-moment -moment recreation of our self, and so, how we feel and express ourselves each moment today. Dr. Freud taught us that many of the experiences that influence how our self is produced today occurred before we were able to form lasting conscious memories at all. Although all of our life's experiences cannot necessarily be brought into our conscious awareness as memories today, Dr. Freud saw that they often left a lasting impact on how we behave and what automatic emotions we experience throughout life. Unconscious experiences derived from early life events influence your habits, choices, and behaviors throughout your life. Your unconscious history form the iterations of yourself that rise off your bridge of translation today. Dr. Freud observed that moments of challenge or trauma often continued to grow within and emerged in a morphed form as emotions and behaviors later in life. He saw that some seeds planted flower over time, while other seeds grow and decay. Either way, unconsciously planted seeds often morph into new aspects of your life by changing the moment-to-moment -moment contents automatically occurring in your inner dialogue, and so becoming the different versions of yourself each moment. 